All right, you guys, so we have a super fun unboxing today. It is a bright and early in the morning. It is 9 a.m. We're gonna open this up. This is from India, and there's some pink scolocyte in here, which I've had in my shop before from Tucson, and I wasn't able to find pink scolocyte for a really long time because the vendor in Tucson only sells at Tucson and other gem shows. So it's been really hard to get my hands on some, but we have a ton of here to open up. And I did open up one just to see, and it's so pretty. So I'm gonna move us in probably. There's a lot of stuff in here. So these are all of these smaller items. We got our scissors. Let's go. These are all palm stones. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Wow, it like really glimmers. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking. So pink scolocyte is pretty rare. There's also a white scolocyte, but the pink one is definitely more rare and more expensive. And I had to get these pretty much custom made. And when I brought them from Tucson, they sold out right away. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, I'm obsessed so far. I was really nervous to work with the supplier because I honestly met him through Instagram. So I was like nervous about, look at that. Sorry if you can, ooh, look at all the pink on this side. There's a plane flying over. These pop out like, <laughs> so cute. Wow. If you guys get one of these, take it out into the sun because the flash on this, insane. So to do get custom carvings done, they can take, he said a week, but it ended up being more like a month. And I was a little bit nervous because at the time I ordered from him, I also ordered from a supplier in Indonesia and that supplier ended up scamming me. <laughs> So if you want a video on that, I can share. Um, wow, these are so pretty. So I was already had spent quite a bit of money on this material because it's custom, it's more rare, and you have like most carvers have you make some kind of like wow. Oh my god, the quality. Oh my god, you guys, these are like better than the ones I got in Tucson. Um, so, anyways, you have to make a down payment for custom pieces typically. So I did and I had made a down payment with the other supplier as well. So I was out, you know, thousand dollars between the two waiting on material. But luckily he ended up, a month had gone by and I was like, um, almost done. Cause I didn't want to rush him, you know, cause I ordered a lot of pieces. And um, he was like, yeah, just one more week. I was like, okay. And then he had sent me pictures of everything and shipped it off. And I was like, perfect. So he didn't end up scamming me. Wow, I hope the beauty of these is showing up on. So yeah, custom carvings can be, wow, a little tricky because you have to really trust that the supplier is gonna come through. And you know, I've heard some horror stories out of India before, but you guys, India has some insane, amazing materials. So you definitely have to find the right supplier, but once you find the right supplier, amazing. And I'm gonna try to find that same supplier in Denver that I worked with in Tucson. He only goes to the Tucson and Denver shows. And he's the one who also had all of the, wow, this is so pretty, all of the pink Himalayan. These are so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. And I think I got, I honestly ordered these like a really long time ago and they've just been sitting in my house because I've been waiting to film this video. I know I got obviously palm stones, but I think I got some towers as well. We'll find out, we'll open up the rest. But these are stunning. Wow, oh my God, they're so pretty. They're like a, oh. These are such nice quality. Oh, I can't wait to put in another order and I can't wait for these to go live. So I'll probably do the same thing I've done with past videos. They'll go live on YouTube. Whoa, really pink. Oh my God that they'll go live on shopify first and then um etsy next hopefully we got a good shot of all of those they're absolutely stunning there's not a bad one in the bunch to be honest and he sent me everything in this nice container i got lots of this material you guys because you guys sold me out of it the first time so i try to order a lot oh my gosh there's still more there's so much i think there's some spheres in here Oh my goodness, there's still more. So let's start opening what's on the table and then we'll open the rest. But I'm pretty sure these are spears and towers. I told you guys I got a lot, a lot of stuff. 
I absolutely, oh, there's his beard, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna keep one of these just cause they're so freaking beautiful. Look at that, do you guys see the flash? Insane. I'm actually a little worried these will roll away. Okay, let's open. I'm guessing these are towers or obelisks. I don't want to damage the tip, so I'm trying to be very careful or scratch the material. Oh my gosh, these are so cute and fat. Oh, oh my god, how adorable. I freaking love those. Everything is so amazing so far. Oh my god. It's always like hit or miss when you try a new supplier, especially with a rare material. You know, you don't want to be disappointed with low quality. So the supplier is a win in my book. And he was really nice and very, very accommodating for my requests. Though the one thing I will say about suppliers in other countries is typically, well, sometimes they don't necessarily have stock on hand, so it has to be made. So that can be a little bit different from how Chinese suppliers work because Chinese suppliers have stuff on hand, but suppliers, I think suppliers from Brazil have stuff on hand too. Oh, look at the darling piece. Oh my goodness. These are like on another level. But Brazilians usually have stuff on hand but suppliers from indonesia india and sometimes other parts of the world don't always have stuff on hand and they have to make it for you so that can be a little bit disconcerting because you usually put some kind of good faith down payment so that they can afford to make it you know they're putting their time and effort into it oh my gosh these little towers up bless they're so darling oh my god those are like amazing. I'm so, I've been waiting to open this package for like the longest time and I'm so happy with everything so far. That is insane. Look at the pink on that. Oh my God. These are like on another level. Try not to have any of the plastic blow away. Let's see, this has got to be a really mini one. Look at that one. That one's so pink and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Again, none of these are, are bad or low quality at all. Sometimes it's a gamble when you order a bunch of the same material. Sometimes you get some low quality in your batch, but, but sometimes um, it's kind of rare that you don't actually get some low quality in there. Ooh, wow. These are so gorgeous. I think I should ask him to make some mini bowls next time. That would be really cool. This has got to be like the smallest tower. This is such a relaxing thing to do in the morning is just unbox crystals with the morning sun. Bitty bitty one. Oh my gosh, look at how pink the baby one is so pretty. So I do have some white scolocyte on my shop right now. Um, and I think the white scolocyte is so pretty, but I think the pink is just super desired right now. <laughs> Look at how pretty. And all the points are like perfect. Sometimes you can get some damage points. He did a great job carving these. This one looks like a big one, so we'll do this one next. Keeping an eye on those spheres looking like they're gonna roll away. Wow. These kind of remind me of like flamingos or something. They're just like the color of them just makes me so happy. Sorry, my neighbor's on the phone on his balcony across the street because we're that kind of community <laughs> where we do stuff outside on these beautiful summer days. Here looks like another, ooh, really interesting pattern. Wow, oh my God, these are so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna pick up this. Let's do this one. Here is the next one. Super pretty. The sheen on these is so nice. Put that one there. Let's get another little palm stone. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna ask you this question. I appreciate your feedback. Do you want these all listed individually or do you want them like a group listing? Like you get, especially for like the palm stones, like you get one, one palm stone and it's intuitively chosen. I mean, you've seen them all, they're all gorgeous. So let me know what your thoughts are just because I know some people don't mind that, but some people really wanna pick. So I just wanna make sure I'm meeting all of your guys' needs. So let me know if you're open to intuitively chosen or if you'd rather just pick. I think this one's probably tower. And you guys, so either next week or the following week, I'm gonna do an unboxing from a supplier out of Mexico. I finally found an obsidian supplier because again, the rainbow obsidian supplier I found in Tucson 
only ships and does product to the United States in Tucson. So that's one thing I didn't realize <laughs> as I went to Tucson is you can sometimes only do business with them in Tucson and nowhere outside of Tucson. So it's been hard to try to restock or buy <laughs> new product like the Pink Scola site and the Rainbow Obsidian because I haven't been able to use that same supplier. So that's been a learning experience from Tucson. But, you know, if you really want to find a material, you just have to do the research and test out the supplier. And boom, look at that. Now I have an obsidian supplier and a pink scolocyte supplier. So it just takes some time. Obviously, Tucson was back in February and we're in August. <laughs> so it took me time to find a supplier and that's just the name of the game. Especially finding a good supplier on some of these more rare materials can be harder. Oh my gosh, this spear is being rogue. There we go. Got another tower here. It's such a gorgeous day out. It's like a nice cool breeze and the sun is just nice and warm. It's just such a fun thing to do to unbox crystals on such a beautiful day. Oh wow. This one may be small but it sure is amazing. Oh my god, amazing on both sides. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, we got a few more over here that we're gonna do. And we still have a lot in the box, actually. Here is the next tower or oblast. So pretty. That one over there. Look at all this pretty material. That one is gorgeous. Look at that one. It's so pink and salmon-y. Oh, I would love a like a big statement piece of this material. I've only really seen it in, in smaller pieces. So I'm wondering if it's harder to find in, in larger pieces. Wow, that one's so soft and pretty. And the pink's on the side. I love that one. Okay, we got a few more little babies over here. Look at how many palm stones, my god. So everybody gets one this time. <laughs> wow, so freaking pretty. Got this one, and this one is, ooh, look at that one on the back. She is pretty. All right, we actually still have quite a bit more. So this is like a lot more than I thought I ordered, which makes it super worth the price, how many gorgeous pieces there are. I'm gonna move these back. Look at that little army of these definitely more spheres okay that's still all that we have left to open so let's get it some of them have little numbers on them this one's one of the larger up Ooh, that's so pretty we've got another sphere here Ooh, that one has some darker salmony pink coloring oh look at that little pop on the back so pretty and we got this one. Ooh, wow this one is insane the flash on it oh my goodness wow this one is another sphere whoa <laughs> that's actually kind of a big sphere beautiful oh my god this material you guys oh this is maybe one of my new faves put that one there Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the patterning. It's like a firework almost, but with pink and salmon colors. Wow. Oh, can't get over these. Okay, we got another one. You guys, and I think per kilo, these were like super expensive in Tucson. So finding more of a small batch uh, supplier definitely helped me save some costs because I could only afford so much in Tucson. I want to say it was like three or four hundred dollars a kilo in Tucson. It was pretty pricey and obviously in Tucson they can charge more money than maybe they would if they weren't in Tucson but still that one is so pretty. They're all so pretty. There really isn't an ugly one in the batch. Here is the next one. Ooh, this is another one with like insane color. And this one's a teeny tiny piece. We're getting down to the end here. Ooh, look at that one. So pretty. That one's a skinny one. Let's get these last two open. Wow. Oh, there's the mailman. <laughs> All right, and I almost skipped showing you guys this last sphere, but I had to show it because it is on another level. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna take you all off the tripod, show you everything up close while we still have sun because we're losing sun pretty quickly here. And yeah, these will be available on Shopify first and then Etsy, but let me show you a close up in the meantime. Okay, so this is everything that we unboxed today. You can see there is a lot 
of material here. Quite a bit of spheres and palm stones and a good amount of towers too. So there definitely will be something available for everyone. We'll have different price points as well just because of their different sizes. But let me know in the comment section down below, especially for the palm stones. Do you want these intuitively chosen or do you want to pick your own? Because we can make whatever you guys want happen, but it just takes more time to list everything individually. And I want to make sure that's what you guys want before I spend a whole bunch of time doing it. <laughs> So if you could let me know in the comment section down below, that would be super greatly appreciated. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and turn that bell notification on for the Obsidian, Rainbow Obsidian unboxing. That is from Mexico. And of course we have another Brazilian boxing to do. So make sure to stay tuned for those videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.